offensively, but they cannot separate themselves at all because their defense is also being dominated. No, you got to keep on playing. Situations like this, that's up to the coaches. Keep the offense aggressive. I think they will. They've had success. There's no reason to think that they won't go out there this time and have another good drive. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Gurley's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Breeze with the handoff. Gurley's met at the 23. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Quarters formation here for the defense. Breeze, and he's going to be dropped for the sack. And they're going to be punting after a short series. The Saints are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. They're in punting formation. He's got a chance for a return. Brought down at the 38. Well, returning punts is a tough job. And it's about judgment. That time, that was poor judgment by the return man. Should have just had a fair catch and never tried to return that. Cunningham's got no one behind him. Just a quarterback waiting for the snap. No room to complete that one. Well, but there's man-to-man -man coverage on the defensive side. And the defense does a job like this where they are covering those receivers. There is nothing a quarterback can do except that. Throw another incomplete pass. Sanders is there. The ball is fumbled. A recovery by the defense. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. The Redskins are having a very good day of it offensively, but still, they have not been able to put this game out of reach, Phil. Well, the defense is struggling. That's why, Jim. And, you know, that's okay. Some days, uh, one side of the football is going to struggle more than the other side. So right now, it's up to the offense to keep being aggressive and keep scoring points. Walks to go deep. Rhodes is there and picks it off. We've reached the intermission. And soon we'll be sending you to Larry Ridley, who's going to break down all the first-half highlights as we send him to Orlando in a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Peterson's taking a knee here, so the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Redskins with the ball back now, benefiting from the turnover after giving the ball up themselves just a few minutes earlier. We're seeing mistakes start to accumulate here, Phil, for both teams. Yeah, I think, Jim, that's what you call them. You call them mistakes. They are turnovers. They're just giving the football away. There's no excuse for that. Man, they got to tighten things up here in this game. The third quarter begins with this play. Gilmore's there to make the tackle. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. First down at the 48. Smith in on the tackle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second down and four. Here's the handoff. Curley's marked down after a gain of four. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. The football is at the 38. Reese has handed the football. This offense can't be stopped on third down, no matter the distance. The Redskins offense, they know it's more than just about their defense. The offense did a good job that time picking up the first down. That's what you want to do. You got a small lead in the second half. Keep getting those first downs and eat that clock up. First down and 10. 
And this goes incomplete. Breeze can't connect. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. The Redskins will take the snap from the 35. Intercepted! What a big time play defensively to keep this game close and maybe even take the lead before the start of the fourth quarter. You know what they did, Jim, by getting that interception? It's keeping this game close, and all you've got to look at is for your team to win, you just got to make one big play. We'll see if the offense can do it. The Saints snap it at the 26. And it's Rice with the football. The Saints look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Cunningham's completion percentage, 60% on the day. And the catch is made by Rice. Mark him down for another reception. My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. Sanders comes up with the ball. That picks up seven. The Saints continue to look to their top target on the day. Sanders has been the top target, and he's been very strong in this game. The offense, what a tremendous design they've had here today. They've had many ways to get this football to the wide receiver, and he has done a good job of taking advantage of it. And it's Brady who ends this play in the backfield. The Saints running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football, look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. And the reception all alone. Wins there to take him down. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. The Saints snap it up at the 26. And that's a gain of nine. That is a good job. This running back, known for his speed, at that time shows a little power and breaks that tackle. Play number six coming up on this drive. So here we go, partner. The fourth quarter about to get underway, and you feel like the next offense that scores is going to end up winning the game. Oh, I think so. When you think about this, my gosh, it's been so difficult and so hard for the offenses to do anything. So if somebody can come up with a new thought process here, make that one big play down the field, throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Still a lot of game to go, but they've taken the lead. Touchdown. Oh, man, that's awesome. Anytime you take the lead in the fourth quarter, that is a huge deal because we're talking about limited possessions, limited time on the play clock. This puts a lot of pressure on the other team. The Redskins ready to return the kick. Peterson's going to test the coverage this time. And he's taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 the Redskins offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them yeah it did Jim but you know what it's not a perfect game you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football so you made that mistake let it go and go out there be aggressive and see if you can score some points the Redskins did a good job that time picking up the first down let's look at the situation you're behind the second half you keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Gurley's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The Redskins will take the snap from the 40. Gurley's tackled down after a gain of 10. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Coming to the line at the 50.
second and one. Here's the quick toss. Still powering ahead. Safeties now in the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time, the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something in a hurry. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. First down, pressure on every snap now. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. Hurley's brought down after picking up six on this play. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Curley's lined up in a single back formation. The Redskins will take the snap from the 40. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down. It just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook. And it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. The Redskins take it from the 33. Tackle made by Levy that time. The Redskins trail right now, but you can't say they haven't been able to run the football. Curley's putting up some monster numbers, even in a losing cause. Yeah, this defense, they had no answers for this run game today, Jim. They have tried everything. Blitzing, crowding the line of scrimmage. Nothing is working. The one thing that is working, though, the defense is winning the game. This is a big third down snap. The Redskins take it from the 23. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First and ten. Staying with the running game on first down. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Saints official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him from returning. Back to you. Second down and five. And Cooper is able to get hold of it. Cooper's brought down after picking up 11 on this play. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Huge play coming up down near the goal line. Runs it in for the touchdown. Well, how about that drive by the offense? My gosh, you're behind. It's late in the game. And they methodically just march it down there and get the touchdown and take the lead. The point after is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. He'll take it from the one. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Saints offense still has a chance here, Phil. Late in the game, can they make something happen? Well, it's going to be interesting to see, Jim. I think let's look at it from the defensive side. Know the situation. If they get the ball, they catch a pass, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Don't let them catch and run and get a big play against you. It was a close one. And at the final whistle, what a win for that one team. It sure is. What a, what a thrill to win a close game in the NFL. Uh, you think about it, how hard it is just to get one win and how tough it was out there. And to hang on, man, it's a great feeling. For Phil Sims and all the crew.